Hello and welcome to a new video on this channel. I am Sabi from Code Revolution. Let me show you how to use the Contentomatic plugin to import to your WordPress blog an unlimited number of articles using the Article Builder service. So to install the plugin, click Plugins, Add New, Upload Plugin, Choose File. Uh, please note that the zip file you download from Code Canyon will contain also the plugin's documentation, so, so that zip file should be extracted. After you extract that zip file, you will find another zip file inside of it, which is the actual installable plugin. So you should click on that and install now. Activate the plugin and go to plugin settings. Here we can see that Article Builder will ask for a username and password. So let me pause this video and enter them in my plugin settings. I am back after entering the settings. Now let's save the plugin info, the credential info. Oh, I am not correct here. Okay. Now I corrected my info and now we can go ahead and configure the plugin to import posts. So let's go to Article Builder to post plugin menu. I will bet, get back to these other settings after we import some posts. And now we should select a niche from which, for which we wish to import posts. So let's, for example, let's go for phishing. Let's import five posts. And there are some more settings here, but for the first run, let's save the plugin as it is and just run importing to see what we will get. Let's go also to our blog. And posts are starting appearing. And here are the generated posts. Also, each generated post will get a royalty-free uh, featured image. And if we go to a post, we can see that it is pretty long with paragraphs. Okay, so now let's check each settings from the plugin to see how we can configure importing and how we can fine-tune the importing process. So this is the schedule, how often the, this rule should run automatically. Maximum number of posts to create is five. The plugin will create five posts at each run. And here are some advanced settings. Minimum article word count. This is the minimum length of the article that is generated. This can be anywhere between 300 and 1000 words. Maximum article word count, the same limitation, 300 and 1000 word range. Spin content, if you want to use the best spinner to spin the imported articles, this will increase uniqueness. Spin phrases only, if we want to spin only phrases. Super spun the content, if you want to enable uh, the best spinner super spun feature for the articles you can do so unspun super spun or extended super spun article subtopics you can also enter subtopics for uh, the niche let's say bait you can enter a comma separated list of subtopics for the fishing niche let's say baits uh, fish I'm not sure about this. However, baits, fish, and others should can be entered here. Custom keyword replacement. This is a feature that will allow you to replace keywords with another keywords directly in Article uh, Builder's backend. So you can send to the Article Builder API keywords that they should replace before sending uh, back the article. You can also use spin text here. So an example is this. 
let me explain it to you so lose weight comma the comma will uh, show that this is the phrase that should be replaced and this is the phrase with which it should be replaced so this is spin text as you can see so this will be replaced with lose weight fast or burn fat fast or lose weight in Dallas fat Texas you can also increase uniqueness of the article using this checkbox which enables latent semantic indexing this increases uniqueness of the article and you can also generate comments for posts comments are generated for tips uh, API node of the article builder so you will see in your article builder account that you have a um, um, number of API calls for tips node and for the normal node so this is the tips so let's import five comments we can also change the title of the post these are the titles we can use so let's go ahead and let's say something my new article but this can be also uh, modified using shortcodes so these are the shortcodes item title and item content the generated post content will have even more shortcodes here and you can edit the content that the, po the, the plugin will generate post author can be set to random user or to a specific user that you have on a blog item type you can select any post or page or custom post type that you have active on your blog status publish pending draft private if you want to edit or modify uh, the generated post before publishing you should select draft or pending limit title word count if you want to limit the length of the generated title run regex on content if you know regex you can replace content easily using this feature if you don't know this this is an advanced feature and you can skip this disable post excerpt to not uh, allow the plugin to automatically generate the excerpt of the post post format you can select the format of the post auto add categories to the post uh, auto add uh, uh, categories from the title or here manually add categories if you hold down the control key you can select multiple categories remove wordpress default post category the uncategorized category will be removed by this auto add tags from the title additional post tags you can enter here a comma separated list of tags enable comments pingbacks trackbacks post custom fields you can also add custom fields to the posts the format for this is custom field name and this little arrow and the value so if we want to enter my custom field the value for the custom field and here i can enter also a short code like item title or another static value okay custom taxonomy is the same thing but for taxonomies auto get royalty free image for articles so if you don't want to generate uh, featured images for posts that are uh, royalty free you can disable this default featured image list if you want to assign a default featured image list to your post you can do it here you can add urls of featured images or uh, ids of images from your media library do not spin translate post generated by this rule automatically translate content to any language using google translate uh, source language should be set to english because article builder generates english posts and a rule description if you want to uh, show this rule uh, 
uh, small description. So test rule. And if we save settings, test rule will be shown here. Okay. So now let's go ahead and delete posts and run importing again because we changed some settings and we also are generating comments for posts now. So let's go ahead and check our blog and if we scroll down we can see that we have also five comments the names of the commenters are random okay now let's go ahead and check the activity and logging menu of the plugin so this is the activity and logging menu of the plugin we can see here a system info rules that are currently running restore plugin default settings delete all posts generated by this plugin and an activity log and in the main settings, where I promise that I will be back uh, after uh, showing how the plugin works, do not check generated posts in rule settings. If you don't want to list posts that were generated in here, so this will disable the post checking of uh, the rule settings. If you have many, many posts imported, you can check this to make the uh, loading of this specific menu a bit snappier secret word for a uh, cron running if you want to add manual cron jobs to your plugin you can also do this do not rely on vp cron anymore and you can enter here a secret word which will be used to run importing in the plugin and the plugin will provide you uh, URL that you can use for your cron jobs after you enter the secret word. Okay, and show extended item information meta box. This is for the classic editor because this will enable a meta box for the classic editor that will show enable will, will show extended information. Sorry, enable logging for rules. Enable detailed learning. logging automatically clear logs after this refers to the activity and logging section timeout for running if a rule takes more than this amount of seconds it will automatically be stopped send rule running summary in email to this email address do not generate in existing categories if you want to select the auto generation of categories from here and if you check this checkbox, then the plugin will not generate categories that are inexistent on your blog. Do not overwhelm it with new categories. A global translation, this will affect all importing rules. If you set here a translation that all importing rules will be translated to this language. Skip posts that did not translate correctly. Keep original link source after translation this will keep the original link after translation if uh, this is unchecked then google translate will translate also the link and provide a iframe for the link which is translated spin text using word synonyms you can spin uh, the imported content once again using these spinners okay and there are posting also restrictions, minimum content work on maximum content work on minimum, uh, title work on maximum, title work on band word list, required word list, require all words from the required word list. So if you enter here uh, restrictions, then posts will be skipped if they don't met these restrictions. So beware that this will still count as an API call. However, the plugin will not post the, the imported content and articles be, because it, they might not match these restrictions. So beware when you configure this part. Featured image options. Here you can configure other sources for the royalty-free featured images and set some options that do not copy featured images locally, generate a featured image resize uh, width and height. So if you want to resize the featured images, can do this. You can do with these settings or you cannot copy featured images locally and use them from their remote source. 
and also here are the importing sources that the plugin can use by default it will use this one the pixabay direct web website scraping you can also enable api scrape uh, api importing from pixabay flickr importing uh, f using the app id pexels app id importing and morgue file app id importing and after you configure all this the plugin will select at random one source by default as i said it will use direct pixabay website scraping because it is not required to have uh, an app id to be configured and this one which the plugin will use uh, after it is out of box but you can configure other royalty free image sources if this is the attribution shortcode that can be used for royalty free images because some uh, sources require this you can add this shortcode to the end of the the post in the generated post content settings field so here you can add this shortcode simply like this <coughs> sorry also a random sentence generator you can define here a list of sentences each on one single line and the sentences can have variables you can define the values for variables here and multiple values for variables separated, uh, separated by semicolon and this shortcode inside the art uh, generated post content will uh, select a random sentence with a random value for each variable which will generate a random sentence for you and custom html codes you can use this shortcode and this shortcode to add the content of these fields, which you can use to add ads co add codes or anything else you want. And affiliate keyword replacer tool, search for a keyword inside of the content of the post or the title or both, and replace it with another keyword and add a link to it. Also, you can use these uh, WordPress shortcodes to list posts generated by this plugin. Okay, so yeah, this plugin was pretty hard to explain because it has many settings and many features and yeah, I hope you will enjoy it and uh, I hope it will generate a revenue stream for you. So yeah, until next time, don't forget to subscribe to this channel to get more similar news about plugins and updates and have a great day. Bye bye.